Uh oh. Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is an exciting performance bulletin today. I'm standing in front of the all new 21 XE from Phoenix Boats. And yeah, that's right. We get to take it on the water, take it for a spin. We know what these boats can do, but the synopsis of this boat, you know that PHX that Phoenix has always been known for that, you know, rips through the waves. We got that plus the all new features of the Elite Series from Phoenix Boats all mixed together. Let's check it out. All right, so as I just mentioned, this 21XE, they're running that PHX haul, and that's a very proven and well-known haul in rough water, and some attributes of that are A, and you're gonna notice this on Phoenix boats in general, but you've got a 21-foot boat, and there's not an insane amount of setback under here. What does that mean? You've got a 21-foot running surface under your boat, so that's gonna allow you to span waves better and really have more control in the big stuff. Along with that, they've got that diamond V hull we've all been known for. The PHX is about two inches deeper than that standard Pro XP hull, um, which is gonna allow better cushion, a softer landing. And what we've noticed with the PHX hull is it seems to just land soft no matter what wave conditions you're in, which is really impressive. So whether you're quartering them, running troughs, running into them, and the bow control allows you to you know, keep that nose up and not go through one when you're running with the chop. So PHX bottom, it's really a great running haul and I'm excited to take it out. And then we've got that Elite Series kind of top cap on this, which is really the perfect, the perfect mix. And for accessories, let's take a look at what's on the back of this thing. Oh, and this boat is loaded. On the back, we've got two power pole blades, eight footers. We've got a Bob's hydraulic jack plate, which is gonna allow this boat to perform not only in big rough water, but also allow it to perform in shallow, skinny water. That's what's beautiful about it. And then we've got ourselves an American-made Mercury Pro XS V8 four-stroke, 250 ponies here. And for a prop, we've got a Fury three blade. This is a 24 pitch and uh, really excited to test out the whole shot and top end on this boat. We've got interesting conditions today, but at the console, Phoenix makes awesome dash route here out of fiberglass. That's holding the HDS 12 live from Lowrance. So that's got side scan, down scan. We've got a through hull transducer. So you can 2D sonar at 35, 40 miles an hour. Awesome tool on this boat here. And then walking up to the front, we've got Phoenix's own dual stacker plate. This is a fiberglass shroud. And you'll notice there's not a lot of cheap stuff around this boat. It's all fiberglass up here. And that's really nice to see. So there's no more vinyl shroud up here. And that elite hull really allows for a nice step pad, which we didn't have on the PHX previously. So getting in and out of this boat is a breeze. If you need to use this, it's nice to have a spot to step when you've got big graphs up here like this HDS 12 on the bottom um, that's going to allow you to talk to the console unit so whatever you found at the console you're able to see that at the bow and we've got a three-in-one nose cone transducer on this Lowrance that's going to hook right up to this so you can side scan down scan and 2d sonar so what I actually like to do with the HDS 12 is point that side imaging around and that's awesome on this three-in-one nose cone. So we've got that on this Lowrance Ghost. So we've got a Lowrance Ghost trolling motor, Lowrance HDS-12 here, HDS-12 there. And then above that, you might notice this little rod we got off the Ghost. That's a Humminbird 360. So we added a Boat Logics mount for that 360 and we've got a Humminbird Helix 12. So Honestly, these fish can't really hide from you, and this is probably one of the best structure fishing setups you can get on a boat. Loaded. All right, guys, so we just got this 21 XE from Phoenix on the water, and 
first thing I noticed, this thing is huge, but we're here to do a performance test. So talking about the weather a little bit, we've got 85 degrees, sunny, and not, it's humid. It's humid, I'll just be blunt about it. And we've got about a 10 mile an hour wind. So, you know, that's the conditions. As far as fuel, we've got about a half tank of fuel. As far as tournament load, I would say we're running a medium tournament load in here. Mr. Bankston does not have all his stuff in here, so I'm not gonna call it a full tournament load, but we know this boat is a good riding boat, and this boat was designed for comfort and rough water ride. That was the emphasis with this. So Phoenix, they do make faster hulls, but I am really curious to see how fast we can get this boat to go today, because I do think um, something to consider in a boat is how fast is that boat gonna be under a three foot chop? And that's what I think is kind of special about this boat. We don't have a three foot chop today, but we're gonna let you know what this boat does in a 10 mile an hour wind here. We're gonna go through whole shot, mid range, top end, and handling, and I'm excited, so let's go for a rip. As we were saying this boat is huge so I'm gonna take another lap back and uh, you know do some turns hit some boat wakes and and really get a one more feel for this boat and we'll give you a full recap when we get back I'm telling you right now, if you've never met a happy man, then he's never drove a bass boat. And I bet he's never drove the 21XE. This boat is extremely fun to drive. It handles awesome. It does what you tell it to do at low or high speeds. And we were talking about that no porpoise, and that's a real thing. There's a lot of bass boats out there that can't go that kind of that 20 to 35 mile an hour. This thing can do it all day. You can talk to your wife, make sure she's happy, you know, get through a tough conversation about that tournament decision on the water, whatever it is. But there's a lot of new features on this boat that to me are worth mentioning while we're on the water here. One, they've added a, a billet dash to this it, with new switches here. And this billet, this isn't cheap plastic. This is heavy duty billet aluminum. And to me, that's a, that's another step up in the fit and finish game for Phoenix Boats, who's always been known for high quality, high, really good fit and finish. And you'll notice there's EVA around the boat. And I did forget to mention this earlier, not to jump around, but we've got lithiums in this boat. So, you know, that's gonna reduce some weight. It's gonna increase the runtime of our batteries. So that's something we definitely wanna note with this performance bulletin here, but high quality boat. One thing I gotta show you is the rod locker here. They changed it, but they didn't make it worse. They made it better. So we still have those high quality gas pistons, beautiful painted lids, slam latches here. But you're gonna notice in this rod locker, there's no carpet. So not only is that box gonna stay more dry than it already did, but 
you don't have to worry about moldy carpet or your Bagley Balsa B2 hanging up on this, tangled with your other rod. You can really keep things organized, clean, efficient, every day out on the water. And that's a nice upgrade. So Phoenix, they build all their own stuff in house. So they've always been known for building their own rear storage boxes, live wells, things, things like that. And now they've taken it to the front deck. They've always had it in the center locker, but they've taken it to the rod lockers for this. And you're gonna notice this is an absolutely massive fishing platform. So if you wanna lay 15 rods out on this thing and you and your buddy flip some milfoil or pitch at a boulder up here, there's plenty of room for activities. And when you drive this boat, you're gonna understand truly why this boat rides as good as it does. It's got a very dense, solid feel. And ultimately just, you always know you're getting something solid from Phoenix boats. And I think they knocked this one out of the park. All right, so we just got done ripping the 21 XE from Phoenix. This is a fun boat to drive, all new, 69 and a half miles an hour, three second hold shot, medium tournament load, half tank of fuel, two guys. This thing's sexy. What more do you need to know? Thanks so much for checking out this performance bulletin. I'm Aaron Teal with Intune Marine, and we'll see you at the lake.